Good, you're here. Have you seen my purple shirt? Yeah, it's in the laundry. I brought it yesterday. You should ask before you take my favorite shirt. Um, okay, fine. So, heard anything about Nick? No. It's not looking good for him the longer he's gone. What is that supposed to mean? Just that no one takes off like that if they don't have anything to hide. If he's innocent, why run? I don't know. Ask his sisters, okay? I don't know how he thinks. Yeah, it was dumb of him to run, but that doesn't make him guilty. Whatever. <sighs> There's quiche in the kitchen. Eleanor really outdid herself. It's amazing. Have you tried some? She didn't make it. I did. And it wasn't even for you. <sighs> okay. I just, I saw it on the counter and I assumed. Why are you so uptight? I'm having people over. They should be here soon. Okay, I'll get out of your way then. I have work anyway. Jordy, yeah. couldn't you think of anywhere else to spend your day off? Well, okay, one, nobody told me it was my day off today. And two, we're actually meeting someone important today. Well. Ivan is, I'm just here apparently because Junior doesn't know how to call his employees. <laughs> cool. Uh, who are you meeting with? Uh, you might actually know him. There he is! My main man! You ready to make some magic? <laughs> I don't know about that, but I'll try. Don't be so humble. You've gained over 5,000 followers in such a short amount of time. I mean, that is phenomenal growth. You're exactly the kind of energy and voice my campaign needs. Wow, uh, thanks, but I don't know how I could help you exactly. Uh, I, I don't know either. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea, Chris? Just tell your story. Be the catalyst to change. You think you can do that? Yeah, you got this, I I'll try my best. Great. And don't think about going anywhere, Con. You're gonna be helping us out. Awesome. Let's get started. You have got to be kidding me. But I thought you said you were going to be doing a better job of prioritizing your time. I never said that. You did. And why are we doing this here? <laughs> Come on, it's, this place is basically Attaway's living room. I can't think of a better backdrop to watch me bottle up some of Ivan's magic. Watch and learn. All right, Ivan. We need to get in and get out if her aunt comes back. I told you. Eleanor's at her art class in Crown Lake, and it won't end for another hour. Well, that's hardly reassuring. I mean, what if she, I don't know, forgets her paintbrushes or something? You know it's at stake. Mom, can you trust me? I checked. We have nothing to worry about. We'll see. But you can't rush Grace or she'll get spooked. Okay. Sorry, the ice machine's broken. Hope that's okay. Oh, of course, dear. Water is water. Um, like I was saying, in order for you to obtain your trust, you need to emancipate yourself, which means you would be legally divorced from Eleanor. But I don't want to hurt Eleanor. I just want my trust fund. Well, this is the best and maybe only way of doing that. This is a lot to think about. Yes, uh, but the longer you put it off, the harder it's going to be. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just remembered. Eleanor's Thursday class sometimes ends early. You guys should probably go. Of course. <sighs> hey, Attaway, I'm here with Ivan Adams, an exceptional young man. Ivan's story of overcoming the odds is a true inspiration to us all. Say hi, Ivan. Hi, everyone. I just want to say thanks to Chris and to everyone who's been supporting me on my journey to recovery. It means the world to me. And we are behind you, 100%. I can promise you that as your mayor of Attaway, I'll push the Attaway PD to take swift action to bring this remarkable fellow some much needed closure. Thanks, Chris. And cut. Okay, I think Ivan had way too much headroom on that last Go shot. Go away. Uh, are we done? Are you kidding me? We're just getting started. How many more videos <laughs> do you need? Enough to win. I mean, we're six points ahead, literally neck and neck. And you know what, bucko? Don't appreciate your attitude. You don't see him complaining, do you? Actually, the talent needs a break, so. All right, well, let's take five. 
Hey Chris, can we talk? Hey, yeah, it's been a great day. Yeah, can we get those posts out in the next hour? Awesome, and I do want to get a, another Zoom scheduled with Ivan, and let's get another press report out online. I don't know, Greg. Make something up. What do I pay you for? You... This is a terrible idea. You should just stop this. Can't stop now. I'm the law and order candidate. Huh? What happened to being progressive? Didn't poll as well. Okay, well, I'm out. Okay, I can't continue being a part- shh, 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 shh. I don't know why I have to explain every little thing to you. I don't think you have much of a choice. You need this win just as much as I do. So go a lot faster if you get with the program. What's up? I need a favor. Now's not really a great time, but I just had it out with Chris and I'm working. Yeah, I saw that, but you're the closest thing I have to a lawyer and I need a second opinion. Grace, I'm working. <laughs> you can't give me five minutes? How many times can I say no? I'm in the middle of a shift and in case you forgot, I'm not your boyfriend anymore. You can't just come at me and expect me to drop everything. If you want to talk, come back after six. Wow, message received. I won't bother you anymore. Hey, is everything okay? I thought I heard commotion. Sorry, um, I had it out with Grace. And Chris is making my life miserable, which is a regular thing now. Family drama, you don't want to hear about it. No, no, it's okay. I mean, I get it. He sounds like a pretty intense guy. <sighs> you have no idea. I mean, he's got his whole life planned out. Literally. Like, he, he's got an actual plan on the wall of his office, and he uses these little stickers to mark out each big life event. Oh, no way. I told him I didn't want to be involved with his campaign. He doesn't listen to me. Sounds like he doesn't respect you. Exactly. Like, all I'm asking is for a little respect. I think that's a song, right? <laughs> yeah, you should try listening to it, you know, for therapy. Yeah, <laughs> I could probably use some music therapy. Also real therapy. <laughs> I'll be fine. Um, uh, yeah, I should probably yeah, like, go. Yeah, right, yeah, I'll go out. Mm -hmm. See yeah. you later. Who does Connor think he is? Just because I'm not his girlfriend doesn't mean I'm a punching bag. Just the last thing I needed. With Eleanor and now him. It's probably not personal. I mean, he is stressed because of his brother. Don't tell me what stresses Connor out. And anyway, why are you defending him? Don't lash out at me, okay? I'm just trying to help you. Maybe I'm just sick of being treated like a kid who can't think for herself. It'd be nice if you can be on my side for once. You give the benefit of the doubt to everyone except me. It's hard to be on your side when you're awful to everyone. Me, Connor, your aunt. If I'm so awful, why don't you just get out? Okay, fine. Whatever you want. I wish I was with you right now. So do I. But I'm always here for you. Thanks. It goes both ways. I hope you know how special you are to me. Victoria? Nick? I didn't know where else to go. Next time on Juniors. I have a Zoom meeting with the social media manager this morning. I'm trying to find out what happened at this Millwood party over the summer. Connor went without me. Nick is about to go to jail, and you're worried about a suspension? You supplied the liquor. You organized the whole party. 